well, welcome everybody. Uh, thanks again for uh, taking the time out tonight to join us. My name is Jeff Mullen. I'm the coaching director for King Carroll Little League. I've been with King Carroll Little League for, gosh, about eight years now. And um, I've been on the board for the last seven years. So Tom, Tom got me pretty quick after I joined the league. On my phone here, as you guys can see, I'm gonna actually exit out of this app for a second and go to my home page. And if you look here, I'm gonna click on my sports and you'll see that I have uh, two apps that say Game Changer that have a GC. One is a baseball or it looks like a baseball. The other is green. And that one says underneath it, Team Manager. And that's the app that we're moving towards. And that's the app that Game Changer is moving towards as well. So they still support the old Game Changer app, which is great. Uh, so they still have that available. However, all the new updates, changes, everything new that they're doing to this technology is going to be in Game Changer Team Manager. So we, uh, the first thing I'm going to say is everyone has to go, not right now, <laughs> uh, but you're going to want to go to the App Store uh, or the Google Play Store, whatever, uh, you know, I'm an Apple guy. So I go to the Apple App Store and I find Game Changer Team Manager and I download that. So that's going to be number one. That's the app that you're going to want to use moving forward because the old one still works and it's fine, but all the same functionality is in Game Changer Team Manager and then some, which I'll be showing you tonight. So when you uh, get that app, you're going to log into it and you're actually going to log into it with the same exact login that you use for the King Carroll Sports Connect site. So uh, Sports Connect is actually acquired by the same company as Game Changer, Dick Sporting Goods, acquired both. And they're really starting to do some interaction between the two. It's not where we want it to be yet, but it's getting close. <laughs> and, and now that I have input, it's going to get closer. So I've given them a list of things that we want to see. But anyway, that, that being said, so... Um, so anyway, there's, um, there's integration between the two. So when you get this Game Changer Team Manager app, the green app, you'll log in with the same username and password that you use to log into the King Carroll Little League website, the kclbaseball.com website, and it's going to access you here. And when you do that, if you're an admin for a team, that team is going to show up. So the interesting thing, we moved to Game Changer Team Manager this year, but I actually have some old teams that are here as well, um, back to 2017. I don't know why I didn't have the ones before, but, but some of those teams that I've had in the past are in here as well. So it's kind of fun um, that they have those. And I was even admin for a couple other teams, uh, the Thundercats a couple years ago for Boykin's team and all that kind of stuff. So you'll see, you'll probably, you may see a history of teams that you have. But you're really going to want to click on the team that you have to look at it. Now, I'm going to click on Tom Newman made me an admin for his team, the Comets. So I'm going to click on that first just to kind of show you around a little bit and what's there. So I'm going to click on that app. It's going to open up. And there's a number of different things that are here. Um, it, you can see that his practices actually exported into the system here, which is great. Um, he's got other information. If you look at the drop downs, schedule is listed now. But we can go to team. And the team's going to have all the rosters. Uh, it'll have the staff first, who's, who, who's going to be the staff for that team. And um, in order for you to keep score, you're coach has to actually make you a an administrator you can have up to four administrators per team you can see tom's maxed out because he put me on here um, and then if you want to add if a coach wants to add an administrator you want to click add staff at the top the little plus button then you're going to see players here as well now there's a couple of things you'll see some exclamation points because folks last time were asking me what are those those are folks that actually haven't logged in yet uh, to the system. So uh, into the into the Game Changer Team Manager, because remember, all of your parents have access to this too, if you give them access with their kids or if they're logged in through the King Carroll site. So they'll actually have access to this too. And you can do anything you want. So if I wanted to, so if I just click on Buck just for a second, I could edit Buck and I could change his uniform number there. I could say whether he bats left or right or both or throws left or right. It'll list family members and those kinds of things there. So you can make edits to those. So I highly recommend um, that you put the uniform numbers for all your kids uh, in Game Changer once you hand out your jerseys this week. Um, it just makes it 
super easy uh, to do that because later when you're going to be sharing your roster with other coaches, you want the numbers to be there and it just makes it easy. So there's team, there's video. So this is really interesting. This new version actually has where you can live stream an event. So if you go to your schedule, click a game and live, there's a button that says go live. You can live stream that event using a phone. Now I will tell you, cause I've been keeping score for a couple of games. My older son plays, he's in a prep team for Dakota Ridge. He's getting ready to start high school. And he, um, so I keep score for their team and they, um, uh, you, you, if you're keeping score, you can't be the one that does video. You have to have another admin person use their iPhone or their Android device, put it wherever you want. You know, you can use a little tripod. You can hook it to the fence if you're brave with foul balls and uh, you can live stream the whole game, which is great. I mean, that's a really cool thing. And actually it records the game. So you can go back and watch videos for certain players. You can even put together highlight videos. Apparently there's really cool stuff. This is brand new. I haven't really tried it much yet, but it's something we can experiment with together this year, which is kind of neat. It has all the stats for the year and it'll list opponents as well. Now, Tom doesn't have any opponents set up yet. We'll talk about that in a second. So I'm gonna go back uh, to, oops, I meant to go back to his main page. So, so here you'll, at the bottom, you'll auto, also notice there's teams, events, messages, and profile. That goes across all your teams. So if I actually click events, it's going to show all my games. It's going to show the, anything that I'm an admin for. So it's got Tom Newman's games, my Blue Ligers, my coach pitch team has a game on Saturday. Um, so it, it'll list uh, lots of different things that are here uh, that are coming up, which is great. The one thing that I'm going to tell you about this is in the schedule, Game Changer has recommended if your games show up in, in the schedule, which sometimes they might, Game Changer has recommended you don't use the scheduled games that are in Game Changer. You actually create a new game yourself and keep score of it separate. Um, there's just a little bit of glitches in the system just yet with that integration with Sports Connect that aren't quite ironed out completely. So I'm gonna show you how to add an event right now so you can see what that looks like. So you're gonna to wanna, to, and, and I usually do this, you could do it right at the game if you want, like you could do it two seconds before, but I usually do it the night before or, you know, so this week if we have games on Saturday, I might do it on you know, Thursday night, or on Friday night or whatever, so you're prepared for the game. So I'm gonna click add event. It's gonna ask me what type of game is it? Is, is it a practice or a game or other? So we're gonna, we're gonna click game. Uh, I could say if it's a scrimmage. So if I highlight scrimmage, it's actually not gonna keep the stats in for my regular season games, which is kind of nice because we've done some scrimmages with, with different folks over the years. And that way it kind of separates those stats out, which is great. You wanna say if you're home or away, if you know, you can click that your opponent. Now, this is something that's really neat. You can search for an opponent in the system. It'll find that opponent. So I'm going to try something right now. So let's see. Ah, that's funny. All right. I found Deza's team uh, for his double A. So that's good. So my son plays on Brian Deza's uh, prep team. I was trying to see if his other team was in here, but that's okay. So if we click that team, you're gonna see that it's got information that's here on this, on this team. So it'll tell you, here's the staff for that team. Here is the roster for that team. Now, if that looks good to you, you would click add. And it's gonna actually add that team to the game. And that's gonna be really handy later when you're setting up the lineups, because all the players are gonna be there. So you just have to search for the team. Sometimes. It's very intuitive. I rarely, I mean, we play tournament games and all kinds of crazy stuff and I find everybody. So if you know the head coach's name or those kinds of things, typically you can find it and set it up very, very easily ahead of time. You can put the location in. So if I wanna put, you know, King Carroll Community Park West, I actually have it in here from other games. So there's that and I'll click done. You can say what the duration is. If it's a two hour game, you can say, um, what, and I'm going to set this up for Saturday. So I'm going to do a Saturday game. I'm going to say we're playing at 8 a.m. And then I can do an arrival time if I want. So I can say an hour ahead if I want to say that arrival time. 
So now here we are. I can save this game. It'll be in the system. Now I'm not going to save it because Tom will get mad. Although I could delete it, but it may send out notes to his his. Um, it, it, you can set it. You, I could say to send notifications or not. I wouldn't, but I'm not going to save it. I'm just going to click off of there. But that's how you would add an event. So you would you want to add that game prior to your game, like I said. Um, so now I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna use my other uh, son's team really quick because I wanna show you something cool. And this is a real schedule. So you can see when you click on the game, this is what it's gonna look like. So it's gonna say, you know, are you going? Is King going? This was a game that actually was canceled last week because of snow. They've had some bad luck, but that's okay. So, um, and you can do some different things. Now, one of the things you can do is view the starting lineup. And you can actually set up the starting lineup prior to the game, which is great. Now, this game's already passed, so it's not going to allow me to set move anything around. But you can literally, all you have to do is click on the players. It puts them in order. If you don't like the order, you can drag them around. And, and you know, there's a little hamburger button where it says second base shortstop. And I can drag those folks around to where I want them to be. And when I'm done, I can click a lineup card and I can print this on my, I usually just, Print it on my printer. I, I, you could print two copies. So you could do one for yourself for the dugout, hang it up on a little clipboard in the dugout, which is great. And you could give one to the other coach. And it just makes it super easy um, to do that with. And um, because when you, uh, the first thing I'm going to talk about when you arrive to the game, when you show up, you know, everyone always shows up an hour ahead, typically for, for kid pitch, and you're warming up and you're doing different things. I usually find the other coach at that time and bring him my lineup, bring him or her my lineup and say, here you go. Here's our lineup. Oh, great. Here we got ours too. And they give me their lineup. And then I can go in and actually set up their lineup in the system, which I'll show you here in a second. Um, so the way to do that is we actually would click the button that says score game and it would actually start scoring this game. I'll, I'll click on it so you can see what that looks like. You can see all of our players are in the field. Oops, I got somebody waiting to get in. There we go, we'll let them in. Um, so you can look and see all the players on the field. I'm gonna do a demo game for you here in a second so you can see what that looks like. For opponent, I can click on the opponent and I can add from bench. And I can add all those players. Here they all are. So let's say, you know, number five is batting first. Number um, 17 is batting second. Number 49 is batting third and so on. And if you click them in the order, it'll remember that. And if you click done, they're actually in the order that you want. Now, if, if I made a mistake, I can drag someone to a different spot and do that as well. But, um, but that's a great way. And you, I did that again by, if you look on the very bottom of the page, it says score my team opponent. That's what you wanna click on there, opponent. Um, so across the bottom, we'll go into doing some score keeping in a second, but, but that's how you wanna set up your game. You exchange lineups, you click on the opponent, you click add from bench, all the players are on the bench, you just set them up in the correct order. I literally have done lineups for tournaments and things in the 20 seconds before the game. They, they exchange them at the, the umpire meeting. I get a lineup and, I'm, and I can click on each player pretty quickly and get everything set up. 